There's a spirit of delay that is fighting you a lot. Yes, it. Eh? Yes, but, it. but you are going to get breakthrough this week. Amen. My name is Marshall Bernard Lerodi, and I'm coming from here in Hospital View in Tembisa. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you and also confirm it? Uh, the man of God said to me uh, today, uh, I'm going to receive breakthrough this week. And then he said, Satan is trying to cause delay in my things, into my things. <laughs> And for how long have you been waiting for breakthrough in your life? I've been waiting for breakthrough in my life for for many years. And then I see this this year God want to do something for me. I think it's my great year. God want to make me and my family happy to open all my things and all my money and all cars and all house that I want to buy. And how was this delays affecting you? The delay of breakthrough, how was it affecting you? The delay was affecting me too much and that was make me to pray very hard in my life, day and night and intercede too much in the church. And today as you have received a word of change upon your life, how are you feeling and what is it that you are believing God is going to do for you? Um, I, I, I feel very much happy about this prophecy and I feel very much happy about this breakthrough that are coming. This make me, this make me very much happy in my life because I've been struggling about financial for a long time. Amen. You must forgive your wife, sir. Huh? Yes, your wife? She's there at yeah. work. She's at work. You must forgive her. Eh? Yes, I did. there's too much confusion. It's true, did. Between you and your wife. Yeah. It's true, did. So you're freak. My name is Alex. I live here in Tembisa. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today from the man of God and also confirm it? No, the prophecy is true. Uh, I used to face a lot of challenges with my wife. Uh, Satana, she used her to fight with me in many things. We used to fight, she don't respect me. And then we end up uh, separating. I, I left her because of misunderstanding. Yes. And when did you leave her? Mm, I can count three to four months. Yes. And how did it affect you? The fact that she was not respecting you and always you were constantly arguing. No, this thing he used to, my spiritual life he used to go down because I used to put that, that thing in my mind, asking myself, how come this thing happened to me? And then I was not stronger in my spiritual life because I was always thinking about her, thinking about the children, uh, what should I do? And then that thing he used, I used to live without any peace, exactly. But after the prophets and then after the man of God spoke with me, I am free now. And then I forgive him. Yes. And what, what was the reason that made you not to forgive her still until today that, that the man of God said to you that you must forgive her? Uh, because she used to insult me. She used to speak things uh, about God, things are bad about God. Sometimes when I am praying or I am in fasting, she used to, to come just to disturb me, to provoke me so that I can respond. So, and then I end up seeing that, you know, the devil was using her. And then that thing I was asking myself, how come she accept, she allow the devil to use her like this? So, I used to ask myself many things about it. Yes. And have you forgiven her now? Yes, yeah, I forgive her. I forgive her. I'm happy, and then I, I'm happy that God spoke with me through through date. So now I forgive her. Yes. And how are you feeling now that the man of God prayed for you, and you've received your deliverance, and also that you have decided to forgive her? How are you feeling? 
No, I am free. I am free, and then uh, I feel stronger in me because already that pain is gone in me. It's gone in me. Yes. And what are you believing God is going to do from now on? No, I believe in the power of God, and then I believe in the in that grace of Charis Mission Church that uh, now my life will move on, and then God will bless me, and then I pray so that God must bless her too. Amen. The marriage that is coming close. There's a, there's a marriage. Yes, Daddy. Huh? The, yes, Daddy. So you people want to do something for marriage now? Yes. And then, yeah. So it will happen. It will really shame your enemies. Amen. Come here. My name is Emmanuel, and I'm staying here around Winnie. Today you received a word from the man of God. Can you tell us what he said to you and also confirm it? Okay, the man of God uh, spoke about me with the marriage which is coming very soon, of which I, conf I confess to be true because I've been praying to God to bless so that he can bless me with the marriage so I can confess the, 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 the prophecy to be true. Yes. And when you were praying, what were the challenges that you were coming across that was making you not to be able to get married? No, the main challenge was uh, the finances. Yes, that was the, 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 the main issue. And for how long have you been praying about this? I think since last year. Yeah, since last year. And when today the man of God located you and told you about something that you were praying about, how did you feel? Mm, I'm f I feel so happy that uh, at, at last God is, God is going to, to, to answer my, my prayer. And yes. And from now on, what is it that you're believing that God is going to do upon your life? I believe that God will going to fulfill his word upon my life. Then I'm going to... Continue to believe in God, continue to pray and read the word of God and wait upon the promise of the Lord. Yes, amen. Go. Come on. I'm touching you because of stagnation. Uh, you did. Yeah, you are facing a serious stagnation now. Yes, sir. And, uh, there's a problem in your chest here. Yes, sir. So sometimes you feel congested. That's why you see me hitting your chest. That's true. Let me touch your chest. You're free. I'm Frank Mashaba and I'm from Pretoria. I'm staying in town, Pretoria. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today from the man of God and also confirm it? Yeah, he says and then I have like pains, these things in my in my chest, like cause I've been, uh, I, the man of God has prophesied me right, cause I've been feeling these sharp pains in my chest, but I didn't know where they are coming from, cause last time when I went to the doctor, the doctors told uh, told me that I had stomach ulcer, so I was thinking maybe it's those stomach ulcer, cause they were telling me that when the acid goes up, then that's when I feel uh, those pain. So, but the man of God told me about those pains today, and then and he told me then I'm healed. And for how long have you been experiencing these pains? Yo, I've been experiencing these pains for more than six years now. It's more than six years now. Yes, I've been feeling the pains, and I've been taking uh, tablets for chest pain, for ulcers, dust for stomach ulcer, but the pain was still there. So I'm. Um, I'm going. I'm, I'm healed now. I'm healed now. I'm healed now. I can feel. I don't have any pain now. Cause while I was seated down there, then I could feel those pains. They were coming in my chest. But now I, I don't have those pains anymore. Yes. And were you praying that God should intervene uh, concerning this challenge and also deliver you since you were experiencing pain? Yes. While we're busy praying earlier today, and then I also prayed about those pains that I'm feeling in my body, and then so that God can help me uh, to take out 
all the pain that I'm feeling. So it happened today. And how do you feel now that God has delivered you and, and healed you from those pains? I'm very much happy, my sister. Then, and I'm going to tell even my family about what the, what the experience that I've received today here in the church. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, my sister. Remember that uh, Satan wants to use he want to use someone to stop you. Amen. And then uh, if you don't become very serious, you will be nothing. It's a yep. plan of the enemy against you. Yes. Already, already there's nothing even now. Uh, there was there was a transition in my life. I had to change jobs. So it took months to adjust and I was we moved to a new place and Financially, it was tough. Okay, yeah. So financially, it was not, uh, we couldn't travel, but we were trying to build our home. If you stay close to the fire, always, you become warm. And if you carry on, you end up feeling fire. But now, if you feel fire, you go and swim. You lose everything. You know, the issue of your job, what? It's just there also to delay what God wants to do with you. Amen. So you must mind about your calling. What is important now is your calling. Amen. Yeah, not to make money, not to make money. People can make money and end up in zero. Amen. You understand? Amen. So I'm worried because even your prayer life went down. Mm. Amen. So God loves you. Jesus name. You're free. My name is Ntate Tsotetsi. I'm coming from Standard 10 in Pumalanga. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? The word of prophecy that I received today was um, because there are people where I am that are assigned to block me and for me to not do what God wants me to do. And I explained to him that uh, I've been between jobs and then I finally got the job, but it's been demanding me to work weekends and stuff and so forth. But then he said, uh, I should be mindful of that. Uh, and then he prophesied, he said, uh, I shouldn't worry about making money, making money, and, and I become a zero in terms of what God wa wa wants me to do. Yeah, so I, I can confirm that uh, I've been concerned about, you know, building my, my own home with my wife now and slept a bit. Uh, we haven't been coming to church since, I think, April. So, yes, um, it was difficult. But now I believe with the men of God having spoken to me that everything is going to go back to normal. And uh, from now, we're going to make sure that we make time to get here. Because, yeah, he said... Uh, you can make money and actually become a zero at the end. So yes, uh, yes, that's the prophecy, and I confirm it to be true. And spiritually, how did it affect you personally? It's true. What he said, he said it's affecting my prayer life, and I, you know, confirm it to be true because um, it went down. Uh, this just this week, I was really thinking deeply about it and wanting to go back to it. You know, because everything that I I, I, I have is through prayer and when you stop prayer when the devil attacks the prayer then I, I am zero actually so yeah I I confirm that to be true as well because my prayer life has gone down yes yes uh, I'm not as prayerful as I used to be yes and today God intervened in your challenges and what you were going through how, how, how do you feel that the man of God today spoke to you and told you what was happening I'm I'm blessed. I mean, there's so many people here, and I mean, he spoke to me, and um, I believe that because he spoke to me and because he touched me, prayed for me, I'm delivered, and everything that I've been experiencing, all the problems that I've been experiencing, are gone, and that there's a change that is looming, and yes, uh, I believe everything has turned around. Amen. I saw a lady. Yes. My sister, I want to pray for you. Oh, you hear me? You can stand there. <coughs> I want to pray for you. There's a spirit 
of disappointments that has been following you and as a demon of like a man. Huh? My sister. There's a demon when you sleep. Oh, you hear me? This demon comes and attacks you. Huh? Oh, come here. There's a demon. Huh? Okay. This demon is the one that is locking up your life. Okay. When you sleep, there are people that try to feed you. Oh, you hear me? Yes. That's why I hear there are complications in your stomach. It's true. Oh, you hear me? Hmm. That's why everything about you is like there's nothing good. Okay. Huh? So I want to pray for you because where you are is not where you're supposed to be. It's true. Oh, you understand what I'm, trying to, I'm trying, what I'm trying to tell you? Amen. Because there's so many plans that you've been having, but there's nothing that works out for you. Huh? Amen. Also on the issues of marriage. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Where is your husband? He's at home. Huh? He's at home. We need to pray for this issue of the marriage. Okay. The devil is fighting your house. It's true. Are you hearing me? Yes. I'll pray for you so that your house must stand. Amen. What are you doing here? No? Huh? Huh? You are doing what? I want to block him. So you are the one who's making it to say, okay, okay. <coughs> huh? So you, you sleep with her in the night. <coughs> you stupid demon. Are you helping so why do you want to destroy a marriage? We don't want her to get married. You don't want her to get married? Yes. So I'm speaking with her, you're just making it to say, okay, okay. <coughs> huh? Because we don't want her to talk. We don't want her to talk? Yes. Hush. Are you people, you must pray. <laughs> so you don't want her to talk? Yes. You don't want her to talk? Yes. Huh? Yes. So you must leave her today, huh? Are you hearing me? <laughs> and you must leave your marriage. In Jesus' name. Come out, you demon. Come out. Come out. Come out, you dirty spirit. Come out, you demon. Come out. Come out. You demon. Leave that stomach, you demon! Uh, my name is Portia Wulan Maluleke. I'm from Malamlele. Can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Okay, the prophecy which I received today, um, the man of God says um, there's something that is blocking me and there's a man that is visiting me in the night and then um, he's the one that is causing um, blockage in my marriage and then he also asked of my husband. Then I said my husband is at home and then he says um, there's a spirit in me that is blocking uh, my marriage and then I confirm uh, the prophecy to be true because um, we've been uh, planning to to get married for some time and then um, in 2015 years he has done the the Lobola procedure and then uh, as we speak uh, about a month ago <coughs> we bought drinks but I'm um, just waiting for the blessing ceremony so I don't know why it's not taking place so I confirm it to be true. And how were these challenges that you were coming across, how were they affecting you? Okay, um, there's been challenges in my, in my marriage because I'm um, the only, let me say I'm the breadwinner. I'm the one taking care of my husband. 
So I'll just say like when um, Apostle Makananis was talking today, I felt like he was talking to me because I've been through challenges. Um, it's like I'm the one, I'm, I'm the husband and the wife, I'm, I'm the husband and the wife at the same time, taking care of the house. So I believe that today uh, it was my day and then God has heard my prayers. And what was happening to your stomach? Because when the man of God <laughs> prayed for you, he kept on saying that uh, the demon must leave your stomach and you were, all, you were also vomiting. What was happening to your stomach? Um, last about last night, I was feeling like I was having cramps in my stomach. It's like my stomach was bloated. And when I was sitting where I was sitting, I, was still, I told my, the lady that was sitting next to me that I feel like I want to go to the toilet. My stomach is bloated. And then she says, normally when they pray, they want to pray for you. You might feel like you want to go to the toilet. Maybe it's a demon. Then I said, I'm really pressed. Then I went to the toilet. So when he was praying for me, I just felt like something wanting to come out from me. Then I started to vomit. Yeah. And then how are you feeling now? Um, I'm, I'm, I believe I'm, I'm, I'm delivered from whatever spirits that was um, was attacking me because um, I, I feel very light and I feel like I am delivered and I knew that today it was going to be my day because when I was coming I was getting lost and when I was asking people on the road they were telling me they don't even know this church some of the guys they were saying to me that they feel like where I'm going it's a they said no are you going to Eshe Bin? Because they've closed on Sundays. I said, no, I'm going to church. They said they don't know the name of the church. So I was surprised. So I knew that this is the works of the devil. Because uh, the devil doesn't want me to be delivered. So I am happy that I was located. It, is, it was uh, God's appointed time. And it was the grace of God that I was delivered today. Thank you so much. And as you have received your deliverance and your breakthrough today, what is it that you believe that God is going to do for you now? I believe, <coughs> I believe because of uh, this deliverance that I've received today, that God is going to change my life, uh, spiritually, physically, and the way I used to live. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm hearing Sevilla, 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 Sevilla. The severe that I'm looking for, it was like, it was born in, is it November? November, come here. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is severe number two. I'm seeing someone that was born in 191979. That's me, man of huh? God. That's me. 1979. Yes, man of God. And I'm seeing November. Yes, that's my birthday month. It's your birth month. Yes. Listen, there's a spirit of limitation. Yes, man. Because of God. according to me, you're supposed to be traveling a lot. True, man of God. And I'm seeing businesses. True, man of God. And from here, I'm seeing doors that the enemy has closed for so long opening today. <laughs> so, what are you doing in this man? Huh? You are doing what? You are blocking everything. Who are you? Huh? Why do you want to know? Who are you? Why do you want to know? So why are you blocking him? Because I don't want him to be successful. Huh? I don't want him to be successful. You don't want him to do what? To be successful. To be successful? Yes. So why are you blocking all these connections that I'm seeing? I just want to block everything that has to do with this boy. You just want to block everything? Everything. But you've got a name. Who are you? No. Huh? No, can't tell. You can't tell? No. Nope. You don't want to tell me who are you? No. I touch your stomach. I burn your stomach. You demon.
And take out this food that you've been giving him in the night. Come on! <coughs> in Jesus' mighty name. You're free. You're free. My name is Dennis Sevilla. I'm from Thorn Park in Boxback. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yes, the prophecy was true because the man of God has located me with my surname. He started his hearing of the name Sibia. Then furthermore, he located me with my, my age of birth, the, the year I was born. So he went furthermore, he prophesied about my life being like on stagnancy, that he saw me like some, supposed to be traveling. And he's, the devil is losing my connections, of which is true. Because by profession, I'm a sales engineer. And previously, I used to travel a lot. I even went to the US. But since then, things they just went down. So coming to an issue of connection. On Wednesday, I phoned one of my customers, just like to check on the business side. Then he came back and said they wanted us to do something together, which is like opening a company. So it is true. Suppose you have a lot of connection, but now there's nothing happening. And the fact that you know that you were supposed to have a lot of con uh, connections and they were not coming, how was it affecting you? Actually, it was affecting me big time because like financially everything just went down because I believe that's what I was supposed to get more of my breakthroughs. But because of the devil knew exactly where to cash me. So you hold that part. So nothing is happening at the moment. Yeah. And for how long has this been taking place? Actually, it's been for some years now. I can say plus minus three years because I even like registered my own company in 2016. <laughs> But there's nothing moving seriously, because like when I check all the guys that I've helped, some of them now they're making a lot of money or supposed to do something great, but my side there's nothing happening. Yes. And were you praying for God's intervention concerning this challenge? Actually, when the man of God, before he could even start with the prophecy, I prayed to God that, please, Lord, let it be, today be my day. Please let him locate me and so that I can get my deliverance. Yes. And how are you feeling now that you have received indeed your deliverance today and a word of change upon your life? Actually, I'm happy because I can say this deliverance came at the right time because now in July I'm expecting a huge contract. So I believe after this deliverance it will come to pass. And what is it that you believe God will do upon your life? I believe God will open more doors for me. My life will come back to be where it's supposed to be. Whatever that I was destined for, I think now it will come to pass. Amen. Do you have a car? Barry. Do you have a car? Atina. <laughs> I want to pray for you. Because I want, I want to set you like an example of what God wants to do. Are you hearing me? Eh. Because of what has been happening to you. This all. You know, your people in your family, there, there are many divisions. Dissolve. Oh, you hear me? Dissolve. There are many divisions. And when I look on your side, it's like your life is very down. Dissolve. Oh, you hear me? Dissolve. And now they are trying to make you sick now. Amen. Huh? So I want to pray for you that whatever the devil has been planning against your life, today it must stop. Because when you sleep also, they Amen. attack you. This is a spirit of <laughs> poverty. No, we said eight. Huh? Eight. We were eight. At least eight. Eight. I mean, eight. Eight, yeah. So you wanted to have eight? Eight. Huh? Eight. I mean, eight. Huh? Eight. We were eight. I don't want eight. Eight. You wanted to have eight? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Who are you? Because you are making it to be sick. 
Number two, you're making it to suffer. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Uh, huh? Yeah, it's up cool. So you must leave this lady today. Come out, you demon. Come out. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to disappoint your enemies. There was a there was a lady on the side of is it what is this like Midrand that you're trying to to make a connection with? Where? In, on the side of Midrand, there was a vendor lady. Huh? Yeah. You want me to? I do. You, you understand? Should I? Yeah. There's a lady by the name of, her name starts with T. Yeah, I do remember her. Huh? You I want me to go her. more, more, more? Hmm? Yeah, you can go. I want to pray for you because marriage is coming. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Marriage is coming and this is going to shame your enemies. Amen. And from here, I'm seeing finances will open. Yes. Hold it. In Jesus' name. You're free. My name is Shaimut Lalipula and I stay here in Tembisa. And can you tell us the prophecy that you received today and also confirm it? Yeah, the man, the man of God told me about a lady who stays in Midrand with a name that starts with T. Yeah, which is very true. I once spoken with that lady regarding the issue of marriage. Even though I ended up begging off, we throw him from the issue, but it is true. Was this issue affecting you? Because I withdrew after I realized that the lady was not serious with God, was not serious with church, so I decided to withdraw. And how did you feel when today the man of God spoke to you about it? Uh, I was happy because I knew, I knew that it was God who was talking there. Yeah. And how are you feeling? Because when he prayed for you, you received deliverance. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel better because I used to feel something in my stomach, which I'm no longer feeling right now. Yeah. 